So this is how much influence a sister can have on another sister. Y'all told me not to like Kevin Samuels, and I didn't. Y'all told me that he didn't like black women, he didn't like fat women. I believed you, even though I had never watched one video. I didn't like him, because you told me not to like him, and I didn't. So recently I go and I watch some of his videos. Now let me say I do not agree with everything that he says. However, your boy was on point on a few things. So if you've never watched any of his videos, go watch some of his videos. Because when I say I did not like this man, I did not like this man. And I hadn't watched my one video. And if I'm like that, I know it's quite a few other women out there who feels the same way. You have not watched one video, but you don't like that man. Go watch his video. Oh, we got a person here that's speaking facts. Now, I'm going to put it like this. As a man, there is a lot of things that he said I didn't agree with. Even as a man. Okay, now that I didn't said that, she has a point. Feminists have told y'all what to do and y'all listen. This is how we know, us men know, that we're not lying. About the feminist groups having a lock hold on y'all belief systems. Y'all will hate something or someone without even watching or listening to whatever it is that you know what I'm saying, that, that you've been told to, to hate. And we've been said as men that that, that y'all will listen to each other about this and that before you listen to a man on what men want. What men y'all ladies will say, well, you can get a man if a man do, if you do this and he do that and blah blah blah. No. Why don't you go ask a man what a man wants? Huh? It makes sense. I say the same thing to guys. Why don't you go ask a woman what a woman wants? Well, with women, they so contradictive, so you gotta you gotta take that with a grain of salt with women, because they are so contradictive. Anyway, my point is we knew that the feminist groups that's this this these hashtag kill all men and men men that cause all kinds of trouble in the world and women are sweet and innocent men are the dangerous ones we knew that those groups you know what i'm saying had a stranglehold on everything you believe yeah we knew it why because because we can just tell right off the bat or sometimes Okay, let me put. Let me say this here before I say my next statement. Let me say this first. At least sometimes watch part of the video or the entire part of the video. Reason why I say that is because I know people would like to take parts of what someone says and flip it into what they want you to believe that they're trying to say. Like for example, that part of a video where they put out that time of Kevin Samuels was gay. When he asked another, when he asked a man, do you have a big dick? See, see, he's gay. He asked a man if he got a big dick. See, see. Knowing damn well, that's not why he asked. He asked because the man called in saying that he was severely overweight. He lives in his mom's basement and he has no job. He asked the man if he had a big dick. He said, damn, can the woman at least get a big dick out of it? That's what he said. That was the reason for him asking that. Can a woman at least get a big dick out of the guy, out of the relationship? That's what he was asking. Yeah. Anyway, so, but she says she has never watched none of his stuff but hated him. I say at least watch some of the video, or in some cases, watch the entire video. Like that average at best girl. That's another one. 
A lot of women were mad talking about, see, he talking about she's average looking. That woman's beautiful. No. He didn't say that she was average looking. He agreed with what she said. He said, on a scale of 1 to 10, and you can't use a 7, how do you rate yourself? And out of her own mouth, I would like them old folks to say, out of the horse's mouth, and she don't look like a horse, but I'm just saying, just an old saying, uh, 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 uh. She said, I'm a five, but when I put on my makeup, I'm a six. That's average. So he told her, you average at best. Huh. It, but at least she spoke the truth on how she looked. She didn't come out there and say, I'm the finest motherfucker you ever seen. No. Anyway, I know I'm getting off topic of just a little bit here, but anyway... And she's right. If she's the only, if she done this, she's not the only one. Excuse me, I'm getting a little tongue tied. If she done that, she's not the only one that just hate this man and never paid attention to what he was saying. If you actually paid attention, he actually loved women. He actually loved to have the black families trying to trying to thrive. But I'm not just gonna make this a race thing. But that was his goal. Me personally, I think he loved the fact that people were in relationship these days trying to make things happen. Relationship is hard work. It is. But the, the point was we are seeing too many women having babies out of wedlock and then later on complaining. You know what I'm saying? That they can't get a man and all these men suck and blah, blah, blah. Versus these women who are who used to be happily married and, and and loved every minute of it. We're seeing too much of these of the negative stereotype these days. So if you actually pay attention to Kevin Samuel, when these women will call in and say they want this kind of man, he will put them on game. He will say, look. What makes you think you qualify for this kind of man? Okay. Now, you do know that there are other women out there in the world that's trying to get that same man. You're going to have to put in work if you want that man. Even if you was to get one of those men, there are still going to be women out there trying to take him from you. That's on point. You can go and look at all the all the women in the world with, with men with money and power. Even if you get one, you lock one down. You still, you still, see what I'm saying? You still have to uh, 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 pay attention because Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Let's use WWE CEO Chairman Vince McMahon. Married man, been married, ooh, I want to say since like the 70s or something like that. I, I don't know. I got to look it up, but still, married a long time, still had an affair. Women are still trying to get at him. Let's look at Bill Clinton world knows he's married. Michael Lewinsky still got at him. Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, rapper T.I. Uh, uh, I mean, I could, the list keeps going. I'm bringing up these guys because they are famous and you know that they are married. And women were still trying to get at them. Yeah. Yep. So, he's trying to let you know you're going to have to deal with this. And if you don't want to deal with that, that's fine. What's wrong with an average man? That not too many women are going to try to get with. So what he is saying is, what Kevin Samuels was saying, I'm going to bottom line this, what Kevin Samuels was basically saying, ladies, if you want this kind of man that's going to be doing all of these things for you, 
What is he going to get out of the deal with you? Just to be with you? No. You're going to have to cook, clean, uh, uh, be feminine, uh, stay in shape, uh, uh, look good for him, do all this stuff. This man is working, providing, taking on this world so you don't have to. And we all know taking on this world is a huge headache. It can kill you. He's doing all that so you don't have to. And you mean to tell me he ain't going to get nothing back? You're crazy. That's what the game that Kevin said was trying to put y'all ladies on. Of course, not, then y'all want to argue and, and complain and whine. So we said, excuse me, I'm sorry about that. You want <laughs> so, so he was like, okay, fine. So then you're not going to qualify for one of those men. You can't understand that. It's the same thing with us guys. We see a good looking woman. What are we bringing? We got to be on point financially, mentally, spiritually. We have to be on point with uh, 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 being faithful, being, you know, loyal, tre treating you with respect, all that good stuff. We're competing too. You can't understand that? That's what Kevin Samuel's goal was trying to get women to understand. He was actually putting y'all women on game. Telling y'all women, look, this is what it is if you want these men. You already know other women is going to be coming at him. He's going to be getting it thrown at him. Oh, even regular Joe Smoes on my job tells me all the time other women try to get at him when they know that he's married. Just a regular Joe Smo that, that I work with. But people th so 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 let me put it like this. Let me put it like this because I know I'm going on a little bit too long here. Let me put it like this. I'm a man and I didn't agree with everything Kevin Samuels would say. I would say 70 or 80 percent of it. Mm, give or take. It all depends. And, and, and all he was saying is, look, men are tired of not getting what they want in a relationship. So now what these men are saying is, look, if I'm going to be doing all of this for you, what am I getting? And if the roles was reversed, y'all women would be okay with that. But because it's a man, you got something to say. Like I just said, hell, men are competing too. If I want, okay, let's just put it like this. I know I, I know I don't have a shot in hell to get with Beyonce. Let's just say I'm a single man and, and it's 10 guys that she try to get with. I know I'm going to have to be in a, a good physical condition. I'm a, I got to catch her eye on a regular basis. I got to be able to let her know that I'm going to be, be there for her financially, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. You see what I'm saying? I got to let her know that. You know what I'm saying? I'm competing too. You see what I'm saying? That's what we are saying as men. Damn it, if we're going to do all this for you, what are we getting? And we ain't going to get nothing. What? Because the, there are some men that, that have to go to work, work their ass off at the job, then come home cooking clean and deal with the kids while you just sitting on your ass all day. I mean, please explain to me how that's fair that you just get to sit down and not do nothing while he go out into the world, take on this world, come home and deal with the house as well too. No, 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 no. The man is supposed to work outside the home while the woman is supposed to work inside the home. That's just what it is. So all I'm saying is just think about it, ladies. Just think about it. If this woman can come out and admit, you know what? Go watch a couple of his videos. I bet you you'll change your mind. Yeah, she didn't say that last part, but she was saying go watch a couple of his videos. But she did say the brother, the brother was on point. 
men do want a, a decent looking woman. Uh, it, I mean, everybody's situation is different. I, okay, for example, I know I work and my wife works. So I know there's less things I can demand of her in a relationship. But if it was all me working, all me, then yeah, I'm going to demand a whole lot more. You see what I'm saying? And it's the same thing goes around. She's not uh, uh, at home dealing with the house and all that. So she can't demand that I do a lot more around the house. See what I'm saying? That's an equal trade. We both work. We both take care of the house. We both see to our child and discipline our child and be there for our child and all that stuff. We both have an equal thing across the board when it comes to, like, our marriage. I'll put it like that. Now, is it always 50-50? No. Sometimes she'll do 70-30. Sometimes I'll do 70-30. That's just how it goes. And But we understand that. So with that being said, I know I keep rambling. I know I said I'm going to get off of here, but I just had to put that together. And just let y'all ladies know, you got to understand, if a man is doing all these things for him, for you, what is he going to get in return? He can get sex from a prostitute if he wanted to. He can go home to his mom, his sisters, his auntie to get food. Or, hey, what if he's a good cook himself? He don't need you to cook. So what are you there for? With all that being said, just think about it. <laughs>